So what's the simplest radio you can have? You've probably heard of people talking about crystal radios a hundred years ago when radio broadcasting first started in the UK from the BBC. Somebody at home might construct their own radio. And this is basically the simplest radio you could have. And here's a diagram, circuit diagram. And what this shows is an aerial, which is just a piece of wire, which is a piece of white wire here, which is uh, hung up from the curtain rail. And a connection here to ground, which you, in this one I'm using the mains ground, which means there's inevitably a lot of mains noise around on it. Then you have a coil of wire with a variable capacitance across it, which is just metal plates that intermesh, but they don't touch. So that is basically a tuned circuit, which is tuned for the frequency of the radio station you want to pick up. This item here is the crystal bit. That's a germanium crystal diode, which detects basically the audio signal, which is on the radio signal. Is, uh, modulated onto it using a process of amplitude modulation. So the RS signal can then pass through this capacitor, enabling this complete tune circuit to work. And out here we get an audio signal, and it's very, very low level. And normally, what you do is you connect a crystal earphone across there. And you can listen to the radio and as you can see there's no batteries and no power the only connection i've got is an earth to the mains earth but that's not providing power now what i've done here is i've taken the output which would normally go to a crystal earphone and fed it to an amplifier so i am amplifying the signal but that's not uh, a part of the radio as it were now, I'm using a microphone input on there and it's turned up full and this is a very low signal that I'm picking up, but it is actually working. So if I turn the volume down a little bit, I can tune to other stations by moving the variable capacitor. Samsung and PayPal have become the latest global businesses to change their operations in Russia. Samsung is the biggest supplier of smartphones in the country. Some of the biggest luxury so brands in France have also announced their suspension the of sales of in Russia because of the invasion in Ukraine. Chanel, Hermes, Kering and LVMH, which owns Christian Dior and Givenchy, have all joined companies. It actually comes in very strongly. I've been able to turn it down quite a lot, turn the amplifier down quite a lot. Tim Franks is in the Ukrainian city of Lviv. Hi there, Tim. Other stations that we can find here. Look at those glorious trees up there. That's the station that always seems to have adverts on. <laughs> and another strong station there. Be a bit careful of music because of copyright. So that's basically a, hours, um, so that's a radio that's time. just a coil of wire to, uh, and a couple of other components, two or three other components, like which you normally just feed the into an earphone and you're picking up radio that, uh, with no battery and no power at all. The simplest radio you can have. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much uh, for watching. Still incoming